Hey guys, how's it going? I am in Santa Domingo right now. And we are going to go for a walk uh, and check out some restaurants here. It is a beautiful Wednesday night. So it's not even the weekend. And uh, there's pretty good energy here. We're walking down this corridor that has some lights up top. And we have some street performers here. And we're gonna be showing you a bunch of the cool restaurants that are right up here. Uh, highly encourage you guys to come and visit the street. We're in Zona Colonial. Zona Colonial. Okay guys, so uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy this little tour. Hopefully you learn something. understand a little bit about where I'm at. I'm in Santo Domingo, okay? I'm in Zona Colonial. This place is on the verge of some serious growth. Hospitality industry, as you guys know, I'm from the hospitality industry. I'm able to identify trends in areas that are going to start to move at a rapid pace. 
I've done that throughout my career, uh, specifically in Windsor, and I've been, been able to be ahead of the curve, fortunately. So what I'm thinking is gonna happen here, it's the same exact thing. This is an area, Zona Colonial, uh, of Zona Colonial that is going to be doing some amazing things in the very short future. You're gonna see a high, very rapid transformation that's gonna be happening. So uh, we're about to order dinner. I'm gonna get a few shots of that. Uh, I'm here with my good friend Hector. My business partner Patrick is here. And uh, I just had to share this with you guys. I, I want you to understand the scale and scope of what is happening in the Dominican Republic. You guys know I'm a big advocate of Las Terrenas specifically. Uh, I love it, that's my home. However, uh, Santa Domingo is only an hour and a half away. So you guys need to understand, if you decide to move and join us, you need to understand what is happening in this country. GDP growth, eight percent. Canada, US, two, maybe less. I'm not sure exactly, I'm not an economist, but I do know those numbers and we are four or five times more over here. Uh, growing middle class, uh, very affluent market, okay, and amenities and quality of life options are through the roof. This restaurant that is a hidden gem that my good friend Hector brought me over to is a great example of that. And the clientele in here is high end. So don't think of the Dominican Republic as sandy beaches, and palm trees, and pina coladas. Think of it as Mercedes and high-end dinners and high-end wines and high-end cognacs. This is a market that is exploding. Hope everybody's doing well back in Canada. Absolutely beautiful over here. Uh, San Domingo is amazing. I'm going to capture some more stuff, so stay in tune and watch the videos that are coming out here really soon. Uh, important and it's really going to help you out uh, with your long-term family planning, with your financial planning, and Santa Domingo is phenomenal and a place like this you guys just need to see it you need to understand it hence why this video is out there for you okay guys I hope you're having a great evening and I'm gonna get back to a beautiful dinner that I'm excited to order talk to you guys soon